all right guys so a couple of you guys asked me about jungle knots um when i did the uh the overnight position you guys were inquisitive about that but some of you maybe had not heard of it to be honest with you i hadn't heard of it really up until several months ago where um couple of the uh, British guys that I follow over on Instagram and chat back and forth with like uh, Viking Mitch is, is one of them if you guys haven't seen him or um, NEP uh, Survival or um, Tactical he's uh, another one um, uh, I'll put more of their names down here so you guys can see them but definitely check them out if you if you haven't but um the Brits are real keen on using jungle knots on their tarp tie outs like this so I think it's a it's really it's a field expedient way of being able to tie off shelters because of the way those knots interlooped with each other. But um and then if you need to extend it out, you can use bungees, which once again is real popular in British kit. So I've um I've kind of uh, adapted to that mindset with it, and I tell you what, I, I love it. It's so much easier than traditional ridge lines and guy outs where you're tying a taunt line hitch and cinching it tight. It's like literally it's like stupid simple. So um so some of you guys asked me about the jungle knots and I figured let's go ahead and make one so that you see what it is and um, I, I may be a little bit off on it but this is my understanding of it and this is how I made mine. So um, so really you take your normal paracord or any kind of cord, it can be, it can be whatever, it doesn't matter. And um, you want about, I think they say like two to three meters, I just measured out two full arm lengths of it to be able to loop it back on itself. So we take our our hank of paracord and just pull out literally one, two, and then we'll go ahead and cut that, okay? Cut this. And put our cord down so that we don't lose it. All right, and we've got, go ahead and untie my lead knot there. I always tie a knot in the end of my hanks of paracord. It just, I don't know, it's habit, I guess. Um, so we've got the free end that we just cut. We'll go ahead and, you guys do carry lighters in your pockets, right? We'll go ahead and get that melted off so that at least we seal that up. Good to go. Put that back in the pockets. All right. So go ahead and find your center. All right. Just like that. Find your. So we have our two ends. Gather that up to find our center. And the way that I like to do it. So first off, you want to tie a knot at the end. Just this is all overhand knots, guys. Nothing uh, complicated. All right. So this is actually the the part. This loop is the part that's actually going to go through the grommet on your tarp and you'll tighten that up so that'll secure that there. So you'll have that, all right? So there you, there's that part of it. Just simple overhand knot with a bite. Um, I don't know, maybe two inches. You can make it bigger, smaller, really doesn't matter. And then the way that I did it was use the width of my hand to tie another overhand knot. That way each section between overhand knots is about a hand width. It's, for me, it just made it easy to, to, keep, to keep it in mind, okay? So we got another one. Once again, another hand width. We'll do another one. And you keep doing that until you get to the end of your line. Keep going. I'll just finish off the whole thing because I actually want to add these to another tarp of mine, one of my bigger tarps. That, that, that. So you see how that's going? I mean, like, literally, guys, it's stupid simple. And the whole idea of that, then, is that the knot is going to be your catch-all on it. All right, so there's all of our knots and all the way down to the end, okay? So the All right, guys. So we have our tarp, we have our tie outs on the, on one of the corners or the ridge line, whatever it may be. Then we have our jungle knots attached to it. 
So all that you're doing is you're tying that off to a tree, right? Pass your knots through. And there you go. It's solid as can be. And if you need to go ahead and tear down camp real quickly, you just pull it out. That's it. So I'll show that to you again. So once again, pull your knot through. There's the tightness to it, right? And when you need to bounce, off it goes. It's literally that stupid simple, right? So if we're gonna go ahead and set up our tarp shelter real quick, literally guys, I mean, this is literally how quick and simple it is. We get, get our tie out going on it, right? No big deal. There's our tie out. Keep the tension on it. Find our corner. There's our corner. Pop a stake in there. Pop our other corner. And then one last one. And we have our field expedient shelter, right? So guys, literally, that's it. That's that's how your jungle knots, knots get used. Um, and then you can control that, obviously, when you're staking it out. You have yourself different points so that you're not having to... Um, once you're not having to adjust the tension on, like I said, you know, tying a, a taunt line hitch on your guy out points to be able to tighten them up and then they're loosening in the middle of the night and, you know, so on and so forth. So I really think it's a, a legit way of setting up um, a, a tarp setup and having it pre-rigged, ready to go, you know, all four corners and, um, and you're golden. So that's it. Hopefully that helped you guys out. Um, if you guys have other questions, certainly let me know. I'm always happy to make some impromptu videos when, um, you know, you guys have questions when you see something because I just, you know, I'm just kind of documenting what I do. That's it. So anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for following along. And um, I got to pack up and keep hitting the trail. So we'll chat with you guys later. Thanks. Bye.